Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode, we had the triplets of Willow Creek age up into teenagers. We also had Prince Kellen of Windenburg age up. I wasn't actually planning on having him age up into a teenager, but we ended up having him do it anyway. And then we also had Princess Amira start a royal teen club. So not all of our royal children are teens yet, but they are going to be soon. So I had her start the teen club and then as each of them get older, they can join as well. In this episode, we're going to age up Prince James of Brindleton Bay. We're also going to age up Princess Nea of Oasis Springs. And we're going to get to focus on some of the noble families. And I'm going to take a look at some of your comments because I think I've been missing a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to go look back and make sure that I haven't forgotten anything that you guys have suggested or, or uh, pointed out to me or anything like that. So before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to hit that like button button if you enjoy this video and let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So we are currently at the Oasis Springs Palace and I am actually inviting over Prince James because I want to have a little... I mm, Are we gonna have a birthday party here? I'm not gonna do a full birthday party because we have a few other stuff to focus on in this episode too, but I realize also guys when all the kids age up like that's going to be it for the kids because or for the Royal Kids Club because all of our kids are gonna be aged up and since it's a Royal Kids Club I wouldn't add more kids to it. I guess that yeah, no, that's it. That's it guys So when this is when the Royal Kids Club when everyone ages up, then there's going to be no more, but we will also still have the kids club. And that one I've been constantly re-adding all the younger kids too, so it can kind of keep on going. So this kids club is going to keep on going, but the Royal Kids Club will have to wait until the next generation to start our own. So I invited over Prince James. She is going to chat with Prince James, I guess. And then I know that's her cousin too. I don't actually know how close they are with him. It looks like they, oh, Mm, no, she's not that close with him. Talk about Royal Kids Club, I guess. I'm going to have to have someone make a cake, one of the adults to make a cake. I just want to make sure that all our Oasis Springs children know Prince James, because this is their cousin. So we want to make sure that they know everyone, and I guess Princess Megan can ask him to to cloud gaze. So we have a few of the other kids over here too. So we have Lady Tina of Oasis Springs. That's our, that's our son. That's what I was gonna say. That's Prince Francis or Prince Francisco. We have Lady Helena of Willow Creek. So talk about cold weather. Just wanna make sure everyone is like, it doesn't look like everyone is too close together, but Mm, yeah, they, they like kind of know these kids like oh lady Arya is one of my favorites guys Ooh, and I kind of want I want one of the princes to marry her. I just don't know which one Maybe either one of our Oasis Springs Princes or maybe one of the princes of Willow Creek because Prince Louis actually I don't really have anyone for him to marry at the moment So we need to find someone for him to marry. So that's a possibility It would possibly be Lady Arya just because I love her guys. She's awesome I don't know why I'm like super drawn to her. She's just so pretty guys. I love Lady Arya She's just super sweet and I just, I like her a lot. So I want one of the princes to marry her and Then we also have Lady Katarina. Kater is that Katarina? Ka yeah, Katarina. For a second, it looked like it ended in like an I, an N I A, and I was like Katarina. That's interesting, but that's not what it is. So I want everyone to just talk, cloud gaze, brighten day and stuff. And then I'm going to have Queen Lindsay start making a cake. So we can go ahead and have her just cook. I don't know what kind of cake to make yet. She's not super skilled in cake baking. Let's do a chocolate cake. I haven't done a chocolate cake in a while. So I'll have her make a chocolate cake. And then, I don't know guys. I So I, I can pick out the outfits too. Oh, I've, I've picked out the outfits of our other, the Royal Kids Sims that have aged up into teenagers. I finally finished picking out, oh wait, no. Did I? I have not finished picking out Prince Kellen's outfit. Totally forgot about his outfit. But I finished the triplets outfits. I finished Princess May's, which I don't know if I had already finished hers before. Um, and then I I think Prince Kellen would be it. And then Princess Naya, of course, too, when she's eight, when she has aged up into a teenager. Oh, I finished Princess... Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot talk. I finished picking out Prince Johan's outfit. 
Oh my gosh, I need to do like warm-up exercises before I record these videos and do like enunciating and stuff because I seem to be failing at it at the moment. So yes, Prince Johan and the Triplets of Willow Creek. I have finished picking out their outfits. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Okay, so I have the kids. They're just looking at the stars together, which is super cute. Prin or Queen Lindsay, she is in the middle. She's not even close to being done really baking the cake. She has a headache though, it looks like. Is that from, that's from her menstrual cycle. That is not because she is sick, but I am going to just make sure that we have everyone's needs fulfilled who need to be fulfilled. And then do we want to invite over anyone right now? I forgot we don't have a king queen club anymore. So I should probably make one of those again, just to have them all like, I don't know. We don't talk too much about with, we don't talk too much with the adults or pay much attention to the adult. Guys, I can't talk. Oh my gosh. What is coming out of my mouth right now? Okay, hopefully I can get it together for this video. It's just gonna be a lot of editing if I'm gonna keep talking like this. So, okay. So we have Queen Lindsay, she has made the cake. I am going to age up first Prince James before I age up Princess Naya, cause I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Prince James is older. They've gotta be at least the same age. Age up Sim. And age up Prince James of Brindleton Bay. And hey, look, it's Omar. He has been the butler at Windenburg forever, but apparently he likes to come here sometimes. Or I swear they just switch, guys. The butlers all switch houses because I see them at each other's houses and we have a butler in each of the castles. So they just like to switch, I guess. It's so, so strange. But is Prince James coming to blow out the candles? Yes, he is. Okay. So Prince James is going to age up into a teenager, guys. Oh my gosh, it's like all of our kids are growing up. It's so, so sad, but I'm also really excited for like all this new generation and stuff. I'm excited to see what he's going to look like too. So I do need to kind of change his outfit. Totally looks like his mother, just like his brother does. They both look like their mom, I feel like. Well, hmm, actually, no. He looks a lot more like his dad than, than his brother does. His brother looks exactly like his mom. He looks kind of like his dad. So next we need to age up Princess Naya. So she's going to age up into a teenager and then, oh, no, I can just pick it from here. Okay, guys, I am, are we ready for this? Celebrate Princess Naya's birthday. Yeah, the game knows it's Princess Naya's birthday. So let's go ahead and have her age up into a teenager. How close were we to her birthday? Oh, it is her birthday. Oh my gosh. All the rest of them I aged up like before they were really supposed to be aged up. So she's kind of the first one I'm aging up like when she's supposed to. Uh, witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I want to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for her friends. Step in and stand up for your friends. Yep. Oh, how is she doing on like her manners and responsibility? Manners are pretty good. Emotional control is actually really good. Responsibility needs to go up. That one for sure needs to go up. She should have done, oh, she doesn't have an option to do extra credit for some reason. I don't know why. Oh guys, I'm gonna miss her formal dress that she wears. The really cute one that's like perfect for this, this culture and everything. But okay, let's see, Princess Naya aged up. So Princess Naya has been self-assured. So what we really need to, let's see. I don't know what we want her to be like. If she's self-assured, what kind of person should Princess Naya be, guys? She could be, I'm trying to think of something different because I have a lot that are kind of like into like social stuff. But if she's self-assured, she might not like care too much, but she's also the heir to the throne. So maybe knowledge, location, food, family. Family, a successful lineage, maybe? That one, I do a lot. I do that one a lot. Mm, is she, I don't think it said that she had like any talent she's discovered yet. Knowledge, maybe? Uh, what else do we have for popularity that we haven't done? Leader of the pack, world famous celebrity, friend of the world. I think I've done all of these. Party animal, good vampire. Oh gosh, okay. I think I'm just gonna go maybe with successful lineage or knowledge. Maybe knowledge, she wants to be good at a lot of things, but I feel like I just picked one of the kids to be good at a lot of stuff and I don't remember who it was. Uh, let's just go with that. She wants to be good at many things. So she, that also gives her the quick learner trait. Okay, and then we need to pick another trait for her too. So self-assured, quick learner, and maybe, let's see, what are some of the slice of, slice of life traits that we haven't been able to do quite yet. Electric slide ruler, these sims don't just want good grades, they love school and work. 
Relentless tease. These sims can't seem to stop flirting. I need to give that to Princess Amira. I really do. When she ages up into a young adult, I think I'm going to do that. I gave Princess Belle the goodie two shoes one. Perpetual motion. These sims always want to be moving. Living instrument. These sims obsess over musical instruments and want to be playing them whenever they can. A frenzied rebel. I don't really think she's a rebel. Walking punchline. Mm, emotional con... I don't I don't understand this one. These Sims feel their feel the emotion of other Sims around them and try to hide from it by staying busy, which gives them an appearance of confidence. I guess that one, if she is self-assured. I don't know what this one does, but I guess we'll we'll find out. So we're gonna try that one. Okay, I do want to change her outfit, and I'm going to change it real quick. I'm just gonna change her everyday outfit. I think. Just just for now, and then I'll change the other outfits later. And then I think I'll wait to change Prince James's outfit until after this video. So we'll change her outfit first. I just want to, like, pick her hairstyle and everything. So I think right now she's in her cold weather outfit. I think that's actually the same. Was that the same jacket she was wearing as a kid? It's pretty, pretty close. It's the same color, at least. So let's go ahead and pick her hair. So I really want... There's I already know which hair I want, so this one won't take long because it's the same exact one that she had when she was a kid. It's this one. I like this one a lot. This one's really pretty. Okay, so I have that, and then I do not know what's going on with her outfit right now, but okay, an everyday outfit for her that still goes with the culture. I have not thought this one through. I, their colors are gold and, or like yellow and green or like gold, I guess. And I still want something that looks young and teenager-ish. But I also still want something that goes with the culture, but like it doesn't have to go too much with the culture yet, just because she is a teenager. This is what her mom has for her hot weather outfit, or was it that one that she has for her hot weather outfit? But I don't think she needs to wear something like this yet, just because she is just a teenager. I don't, I don't know. Why don't we do... Oh gosh, guys. I didn't think th about this too, too much. Okay, uh, there's, I mean, no, well, hmm. I mean, this isn't gold right now. Maybe I'll just pick this for now and then I will change it up later on. Yeah, we're just, um, it's decided. We're gonna go with this for just right now. I just wanted to pick the heels for her too. So, oh my gosh, these are cute. Maybe, maybe I'll just go with like yellow because that's what we were supposed or is that even yellow though? Not really. Not really. That's not, okay. Mm, let's just do this one for now, I guess. Or this one, let's do that one. And then I just want to do a little bit of, I always do this, I'm like, okay, that's it. And then I'm like, oh wait, no, she needs makeup. And then it like takes 10 times longer. I did find the eyelashes that I was talking about last time though. They're in the glasses section and I love them guys. These are like my favorite lashes ever. I love them so much. Oh wait, no, I just deleted her lipstick guys. I did not mean to do that. Okay, and should we do something more? Nope, this is just like nude lips. Let's, that word, that works, okay. And then cheeks, some a little bit of blush. Okay, I think we're good. I think as I am picking out um, earrings real quick, but then after this, I think we're good. Okay, this is this is it for now. I will change the rest later. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is their first child. She's the heir to the throne, the future queen of Oasis Springs, which I'm actually really glad that the heir to the throne like still has the somewhat features of like, her ancestors because like the boys are blonde and the girls were brown hair and we were originally going to maybe have the oldest boy be the heir to the throne but then he was blonde which made me kind of upset so I kind of want so Princess Nea I was having her maybe marry or yeah maybe marry Prince no not Prince Lord oh gosh what's his name Marquis Philip in in Brindleton Bay but he's blonde and I really want to keep the dark features for Oasis Springs. We don't have to. It's just a thought. It's just something I wanted to bring up. So I don't know. Yeah, not 100% sure yet. The princes of Willow Creek have brown hair, so they're a possibility too. But then there's other possibilities too. So yeah, well, well, that's just something I wanted to think about. So, okay, so step in and stand up for your friend. Witness to a bully. Um, whoops, her manner is just decreased. But 
Yay, guys, it's Princess Daya. She's so pretty. Step in and stand up for your friend. Didn't I just say that? This is literally the same thing. Okay, although this is her cold weather outfit, I forgot that we have to look at her in her outfit because... Oh, whoops. Oh my gosh, no, we're not keeping that for her formal outfit. Because the castle is basically outdoors and it's cold now. So, yeah. So, okay. We are not going to focus on Prince James right now. Although, if you guys want to see him, let's see if I can find him. Is he here? Is he still here? He might have left. We'll, we'll have to see him in another... In a, and maybe in the next episode, we'll have to see him. Yeah, I don't know where he is right now. Restaurant not functional. Do they own a restaurant? Wait, they don't own a restaurant. What is wrong with my game? It's telling me that the restaurant isn't functional, but I don't I don't own one. Hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna go to save and manage worlds. And I want to focus a bit on the noble families because I've like made a... Oh, right. Oh, that's another thing in this episode. I totally forgot we were going to do. So, speaking of noble families, I had, let me just show you because this is a lot easier. So, Sir or Lord Matthew that was living here, who is Marquis Eliza's son. So, I had him get married to la Lady, there she is. Wait, nope, that's not her. To Lady Valentina, who their mother died, the Baroness died. So, now Lady Valentina has become Baroness Valentina, or I had to say Baroness Valen because it didn't fit, but it's Baroness Valentina. So they married and she's pregnant at the moment. So that's a little bit of an update. Lady Ava's still a teenager, but she is being watched over by her brother-in-law and her sister. So that's a little update. So I had Marquis Eliza stay here to kind of watch the house, but I think I'm going to have Princess Anna and Sir Marshall move into this house now. So yeah, why don't we actually go ahead and do that now? And then Marquis Eliza, I'll have her move into the home with them. She just wanted to like, I wanted to have her like watch the home, what, but like until someone moved it, until someone moved in, otherwise I'd have to like sell and move all the furniture and stuff. And I didn't feel like doing that and dealing with that. So yeah. So another thing we can also look at here is, oh my gosh. Okay. So we'll have, okay. I'll go back to Princess Anna and her family in a second. I want to show you to Lady Tiara because one of our viewers uh, requested that we go visit them and go see them. So it looks like her baby aged up into a toddler because she just had a baby before. I don't know if you guys saw that. Maybe she was just pregnant before, but I never even saw her have the baby. Oh yeah, I don't think I did at all because the baby is, doesn't have like a title in front of it. So it looks like her baby aged up into a toddler though. So that's really exciting. It looks like they're both little blonde, little cute toddlers. They look like their mom. Okay, so we have Lord Gianni and La Oh my gosh, guys, their names are similar. That's kind of cute. Okay, so Lord Gianni, who is making a mess at the moment. So I'm gonna have to parent him. Wait. Um, what? This is your son, right? Why can't you discipline him for making a mess? He's making a mess, right? What is happening? Toddler care. I'm so confused. Okay. Anyway, uh, Lady Gina. So I'm going to go ahead and change her name. I don't know what she's doing outside. Not going to focus on changing their out. Whoa. Whoa. You guys, I have never done this before? Did you know you could do this? Oh my gosh. You guys, this, I'm like in shock right now. Oh my God. You can do from the point of view of your sim. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Did you guys know this? I pressed the tab button. Was that, no, no, I didn't press. What did I press? What did I press? Escape? Oh my god. What? That was so cool. How do I do it again? Oh my gosh, guys. I have no idea how to do this again. <laughs> I do not know what I pressed. Oh my gosh. I have to look that back up. That was so cool. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Okay. Anyway, so enough of that. So I'm going to change her title. So we'll modify them in cast. Okay. So this is Lady Gina Windenberg. So that's kind of cute. Their their names are the same. I'm just gonna change her hair. I'm not really gonna focus on. Ooh, that one's cute. Ooh, that's adorable. Yeah, I won't focus on anything else really. Oh, guys, Lady Tia is so pretty. Aw, she's so pretty. 
Okay, so Lord Derek. I just wanted to make sure his name was still the same. And then Lord Gianni too. Does he have a unibrow? No, he doesn't. For some reason, it looked like he does. There's just like a shadow on him. I wasn't sure what it was. I'm just, just I know I like, I get so focused on changing their outfits. I don't want to, but let me just like get rid of his hat. Let me get rid of the hat. No, take the hat off. I wish you could just like pick it up and take it off. That would be kind of cool. Okay, well, um, that's pretty much all the updates with the noble families. I have some nobles who, like I will show you, who are young adults now. So I will have them get married to each other soon. Like we have... Sir Harrison, he's a young adult. And then also we have the, let's see, where are they? Where did they go? We have Lady Harmony and Sir Dean, they're young adults. I need to change his name to Lord Dean, but they're cousins. They're related to the, the what, oh shit, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, Sir Harrison. So they're his cousins. So I was gonna have Lady Harmony and Sir Harrison get together, but then I found out they were cousins. And I was like, oh shoot, I can't do that. So yeah, so, but yeah, there's like some of the other Sims, they'll be aging up pretty soon. Like Lady Ava will be aging up pretty soon. So we'll just have them, we'll have them all get married when it's time. So why don't we go ahead and go to the Windenburg Palace? Okay, so we are at the Windenburg Palace. Right before they go, I think I'm going to have, why can't I click on this bed? Um, hello, what is happening you guys? View? You can't, you did, what? What? Oh, okay. I think it's because I was clicking on like the comforter and the pillows and stuff. That was weird. Anyway, I'm gonna have them try for a baby before they leave. And yeah, I was thinking of having them still help out and stuff with them, but they're all teenagers now, guys. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I do think, so while they are trying for a baby, I'm going to go through some of the comments that you guys have said in the past few episodes. So I still haven't posted episode 62 yet, the the one that comes before this. So I, oh my gosh, guys, my throat, sorry. Um, so yeah, I haven't posted that video yet. So I don't know what the comments are on that video quite yet, but oh no, what? What is happening? Did I just accidentally click him? It scares me when the camera shifts so suddenly like that. I think someone's about to die and it scares me so bad, so, oh my gosh, okay, no, he's fine, King Henry's fine. I'm gonna have the teenagers, though, all do their homework, though, while we're going through all of this, so you guys can all do your homework, gain some more responsibility and some manners. Okay, so we, uh, let's see, all right, so some, I'm gonna go back a few videos, so let's go to when Princess Anna has her baby. I wanna make sure I haven't missed anything. So I have a few baby name suggestions. Oh yeah, okay, so I have a few baby name suggestions for when Princess Anna, when she has her baby, if they're pregnant. Oh, okay, so I had someone say that they wanted us to check into, into Judith Ward and her children, so I can definitely go ahead and do that in that video. Um, I think I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I have a lot of people saying that they want King Henry to have bastard kids, and I would rather, I mean, I don't know, if he finds someone then maybe, but like there's no one he's really like connecting with much. I mean, I even though like they, they don't have to be connected, they don't have to be in love. So like a lot of people when Queen Alice first passed away, they said that they didn't think that King Henry should get married at all. But lately I've been having some people say that he should get married, that King Henry should get married, not for love, but just to show to his country that he's like stable. So let me know what you guys think, because maybe we could focus that on the next episode. Um, a lot of you guys were saying that Princess Amira should like be a little crazy, which I think she's going to be. And then someone said, someone has a list of who they think they should that should get married. So I will read this to you guys. So we have Princess Mira, Amira and Prince Johan, but someone was saying that they don't they think that they should get married, Princess Amira and Prince Johan, but not for love. Like they're arranged and that their marriage probably wouldn't be the best just because they're like so into each other because they did make a good point we do have a lot of like perfect marriages and i know it kind of probably that might get a little boring so for them i think we're gonna go ahead and arrange their marriage princess amira and prince johan i did have a few people say that they think prince johan should be with princess Belle, but i think that she deserves better to be honest so i think that we're gonna have princess amira and prince johan be in an arranged marriage and they probably won't be that happy. I think Princess Amir would do a lot of crazy things. She might break some protocol protocol as some some other people suggested. And then I think she would definitely be like, I think she's gonna be a big flirt, you guys. I think she's gonna be a big tease. Like Princess Anna, but like 
times 100. I really think she's going to go crazy. So anyway, that was one thing someone said. Someone also said Princess May and Prince Michael of Oasis Springs. He's a, he's a lot younger than Princess May is, but I mean, it's a possibility. We don't know yet for Prince Louis or for Prince Jack. Someone said Princess Belle and Prince Francisco. Someone said they don't know yet for Prince James. Someone said Princess or Prince Kellen and Princess Meghan, which is a possibility. Uh, someone said Princess Naya. I'm sorry, I keep saying someone. This is the same person saying all this stuff. Uh, we have Princess Naya and Marquis Philip, Prince Francis and Princess Belle, which they said Princess... Okay, I think that's everyone. Yeah, okay. So yeah, those are some of the marriages that they had suggested. So you guys can let me know what you think. Then they also mentioned having Princess Anna and Prince and Lord Marshall move out and we need to change their last names to Windenburg because they're going to be the Marquis of, of Windenburg now. And then I just want to make sure I got everything else. I think that is everything. Okay, so I think that for this, I have to check first if Princess Anna is pregnant. So go to the toilet, check if you're- wait, did they not- did they not try for a baby? What? Okay, well that's what you were supposed to do that entire time and you didn't. How is Lady Ezra doing, guys? She's so cute. I love her. Her hair is adorable. She's adorable. She's just adorable. I'm going to have her, oh my gosh, she's so close to her cousins, guys. That's so cute. I'm gonna have her cousins join with playing dolls with her so they can go ahead and play with her for a little bit before they move, because they're gonna move and that's really sad. Let's go ahead and check if Princess Anna is pregnant. I changed her outfits too, so they're a lot more mature, but like I put her hair up, I put her in this dress, which I like this. Although the slit is really high on this, but I, maybe it's not too bad. But her necklace is really pretty too with it. It's like the double necklace with the beads and stuff. And then I love that hair, you guys. It's just, it's gorgeous. So I love it so much. So is she pregnant? Yay, she's eating for two. Okay. So, oh wait, ate a friend. Prince Kellen's friend hasn't studied for the big exam today. So do not share the answers. Don't help. Oh, uh oh, the friend doesn't like that. Swearing never to help Prince Kellen ever again. Uh oh. Well, I don't know who that friend is, so it's fine. But let's go ahead and have. Why is she very annoyed? Irritated. F lady. Well, why are you irritated, though? It doesn't tell us why. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So, I think we're going to have them go ahead and move, you guys. So, save and manage worlds. So, Princess Anne is pregnant, so she will be having her baby probably in, like, maybe the next episode or the one after that. But we will probably end up, well, we might end up missing her having the baby, so we might have to, like, go back and change the baby's name. But I'm kind of excited to see her baby. So, let's go to Windenburg, and then I'm going to have them go ahead and move with Marquis Eliza, and then I'm going to move out Marquis Eliza so she can actually go live with her son and her new daughter-in-law. So, we are going to have Princess Anna. So Windenburg, there, no, it's the Marquis of Windenburg. Other households, Windenburg. Um, so the Marquis, wait, what? What? Mm. Windenburg, Bubbles is growling at something and I don't know what it is. Wait, why? What? Okay, I'm so confused. Um, Marquis of Windenburg, it's a played household. Why can't I have her move? I'm very confused right now. Okay, Windenburg. The royal family of Windenburg? There we go. Okay, so Princess Anna's moving in. Lord Marshall and Lady Ezra. Oh, guys, they're moving out. They've been here for a while. That's sad. Okay. Oh, wait, why do I keep clicking on that house? Okay, so, and then I am going to have Marquis Eliza move out. So she's going to go to Willow Creek. It's the Baron of Wind Willow Creek. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so now they have taken over the house. This is her aunt's house, Princess Anna's aunt's house. So we can go ahead and just take a look at them. And then I want to make sure that there's like a bassinet and everything ready for the baby when it comes. So I want to at least like just see their house, like see their new house and everything. Because I want the kids to like come over here a lot. So one of our viewers suggested like, well, I feel like Princess Anna would be like the cool aunt where they could have sleepovers at her house. Although that might have been better when they were kids. But I feel like it could still work now. So where is the mailbox? Because I need to make sure their needs are all up. So yeah, okay. So who is this? Wait, King Henry, why are you here? Um, are you just coming to say hi? Sure, big news, I guess. 
uh, give parenting tips, maybe? And Lady Ezra is really close with him, too. They're all really close with all of them. That's so cute. Okay. So, this house. We have plenty of bedrooms in this house, so that's a good thing. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. There's, like, a science lab out here, and I don't know why. They also have an attic. Doesn't look like there is a bassinet ready, so going to have oh no there is we have a bassinet in here this is the little kids room okay so last thing we need to do is change their name so we'll modify them in cast so we can change their names to the marquee and then we're going to change also lord marshall's last name to windenburg so she's no longer princess anna guys she is going to be the marquee oh uh, no okay there we go and then we're oh no i have her last name is brindleton when did I do that? Did I do that? Wittenberg. Okay. Key Anna. And then Marky Marshall. Haha, <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Oh no, that's not gonna fit! Uh oh. <gasps> I should have thought this through. Am I gonna is his name gonna have to be Marsh? That mmm. Mark Yeah, oh gosh. I didn't realize how long that was. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Marsh. That's fine. It's Marshall. We know it's Marshall. Windenburg. Is there not a cheat to make their names longer? Because that would be very helpful for this game. And then Lady Ezra Windenburg. There we go. Okay. So yeah. All right. So we have all their names changed. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. So we've done, I'm pretty sure we did everything that we, oh no, no, no. We need to check in with Judith Ward. I'm going to have to do that in the next episode. I hope I remember to do that in the next episode. Um, so uh, actually, no, let's just do that really, really quickly. So we'll go to manage worlds, save and go to manage worlds. And then I'm not going to pay too much attention to them. We're just going to see them. I think they're teenagers now. I'm not going to actually go into their household. I'm just going to show them to you guys. I have not changed their outfits. Are they teenagers? I think they are. Maybe that could be the kids, or uh, uh, Lady, or oh my gosh, what's her name? Princess Amira. That could be Princess Amira's little little people that she flirts with. So we have the Ward household. Oh my gosh, I need to change their outfits. They are teenagers. So we have Malcolm Ward. Oh my gosh, she's got crazy hair. And Diego Ward. They look like <laughs> really like okay. He's mean and he's just a goofball. They look like sleazy kind of. I don't know what it is but their fathers are jabbing look so proper oh my gosh he's an elder he was dating princess cora when they were teenagers and young adults and he's an elder already oh my gosh princess cora's not even an adult yet though i don't think i don't think i didn't realize he was that much older than she was well okay so yeah so we'll maybe we'll incorporate them later on i'll probably change their outfits because they're looking a little crazy so yes i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next episode